What exactly is a hurricane? In the Eastern Pacific Ocean, Caribbean Sea, Southern Atlantic Ocean, and Gulf of Mexico, hurricanes are a kind of tropical cyclone or strong tropical storm. Hurricanes are a risk in all coastal regions near the Atlantic and Gulf of Mexico. Low storm activity and a counterclockwise rotation are characteristics of tropical cyclones. Tropical depression refers to a tropical storm with winds of less than 38 miles per hour. A tropical storm is defined as having winds of 39 to 73 miles per hour. However, it is considered a hurricane when the winds reach 74 miles per hour or more. A natural calamity like a hurricane can have wide-ranging effects. Millions of lives are lost, and nearly every aspect of human creation is harmed. Due to excessive rainfall, it can inflict significant damage to coastlines and hundreds of miles inland. People who live near coastal areas frequently experience chaos in their lives as a result of flooding and flying debris. In hilly areas, hurricanes that move slowly drop a lot of rain. Rainfall that is too much might cause landfall and mudslides. The likelihood of flash floods is also improved by the amount of rain. Here are 20 fascinating hurricane-related facts. 1. Tropical storms known as hurricanes form in the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico. Typhoons and cyclones, respectively, are terms used to describe storms that develop in the South Pacific and Indian Oceans and the Northwest Pacific. 2. A Category 4 hurricane that struck the island city of Galveston, Texas, on September 8, 1900, was the deadliest U.S. hurricane ever recorded. When the island was demolished by 15-foot waves and 130 miles per hour winds, almost 8,000 people perished. 3. The largest storms on Earth are hurricanes. They range in size from 100 to 2,000 kilometers, typhoon tip, which made landfall in the Northwest Pacific in 1979, was the largest hurricane ever recorded. It was about 2,220 kilometers in diameter. 4. In the Atlantic, hurricane season starts June 1, while in the Pacific it starts May 15. Both end on November 30. 5. When they come onto land, the heavy rain, strong winds and heavy waves can damage buildings, trees and cars. The heavy waves are called a storm surge. 6. The term hurricane is derived from Taino Native American word hurricane, which means the evil spirit of the wind. 7. The year 1933 had the most named storms on record with 21. In 2005, that record was broken when the National Hurricane Center identified 28 storms. 1933 is now second, and 1995 is third with 19 tropical storms. The difference between a tropical storm and a hurricane is really steep. Tropical storms usually bring winds of 36 to 47 miles per hour, whereas hurricane winds Nine. The costliest hurricane to make landfall was Hurricane Katrina, a Category 5 storm that slammed Louisiana in August of 2005. Damages cost an estimated $108 billion. 10. Hurricanes are named because it's much easier to remember the name of a storm than using latitude and longitude. The tracking becomes easy. It also helps prevent confusion when there is more than one tropical storm or hurricane occurring at the same time. 11. The National Hurricane Center was the first organization that started assigning female names to the hurricanes in 1953. However, they stopped this practice in 1978. 12. Today, the list includes English, Spanish and French names because these languages are most commonly used by the countries in the Atlantic Basin. There are six lists of names. 
Each list is used in rotation every six years. 13. Hurricanes are classified into five categories, based on their wind speeds and potential to cause damage. Names can be retired if a hurricane has been really big and destructive. Retired names include Katrina, Andrew, Mitch, and most recently Sandy. 14. A name is retired when the storm caused so many deaths or so much destruction that it becomes insensitive to use the name again. The World Meteorological Organization is in charge of retiring hurricane names and choosing new names. 15. Hurricanes mostly occur from June to November when seas are the warmest and most humid, forming conducive weather for the hurricanes to build up. 16. Hurricanes rotate in a counterclockwise direction around the eye. The rotating storm clouds create the eye wall, which is the most destructive part of the storm. 17. 40% of the hurricanes that occur in the United States hit Florida. 18. A Category 1 storm is the weakest hurricane with winds having speed between 74 to 95 miles per hour. A Category 5 hurricane is the strongest with winds greater than 155 miles per hour. 19. Stronger hurricanes can reach 40,000 to 50,000 feet up into the sky. 20. Hurricanes kill more people than any other type of storm. Hurricanes are natural disasters and, unfortunately, cannot be controlled by man. However, we can prepare ourselves for future precautions to safeguard ourselves against such calamities, although this is remotely possible.